Hello. I'm still trying to work out this software. Um, but I got a good project for you. So I'm going to go up in the upper corner and I'm going to show you what's here on my desk. Um, so I got a little package today from Chalk Couture and I got this nifty apron, um, which is covering up my white shirt because if you're me, <laughs> you're a mess. And I got this beautiful Christmas tree farm transfer in. Um, and I decided I had seen, and I want to give credit. Hi, Noreen. Thanks for coming. Um, I want to give credit where credit is due for this project. Um, I had seen a great gal named Debbie, um, who was also a fellow Chalk Couture designer. She had made one of these. Um, and her website is Refresh Restyle. And she's been a blogger for years, and I find her really entertaining, and she's very inspiring. But I saw her use this transfer and make a wall hanging, and I had to have it and try it to do it myself. Um, so what I did to bring you along is I have one of our ink mats down here. You can see the Chalkator logo. And I was over at a Michael's not long ago. And they sold cotton fabric and it's a two yard bundle and all I did was is I cut it down to the size that I wanted it to be you know how you notch it and then you tear it thanks thanks nor I'm really working hard on trying to get it to be good um, and then I just tore it because I wanted it to have kind of that uh, raw edge and I did that on three sides because it was two yards of fabric. And then I didn't, even, I'm not even going to iron it. And I'm a little concerned because I've got that seam there. I was going to iron it. I cannot tell a lie, but my little craft iron is, um, I don't have the plug to it. So I'm going to, this, this mat is very sticky. Um, and Keith is making me um, some wood pieces that have magnets that are going to go across the top and the bottom. But isn't that beautiful? So I just thought I would try it. And I'm just going to try and center this up. So I already, <laughs> I already wrote on the back the name of the transfer, which is Holiday Tree Farm. This is very sticky and we're going to be working with ink. When you work with ink, you want, you don't have to fuzz your transfer. You don't want any lint. You want it to really stick well. Um, and, um, and these are pretty sticky. These newer ones. See it sticking in my hand. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this as it's centered, centered between the two the best I can because I want to give a little space at the top and the bottom and that's not too bad. Okay, then you're going to push it down really well. And thank goodness we have lots of, we have lots of uh, fabric. <laughs> In this house, we have tons of fabric, but just want to make sure that it's there. And then I am going to do it in, I'm going to do the letters in gray storm is the color. I don't know if you can see it. And then I'm going to do the tree in garden herb ink. And I think they're going to look, I would like this to be a little lighter, but I don't have it. I don't possess that in my ink collection just yet. Um, and so what you need, so ink is permanent. We're gonna heat set this when we're done. And you always need to keep your hands clean. Um, I use these Lysol wipes 
or a paper towel or something. I prefer to have like a baby wipe, something, and I don't have any baby wipes up here, so we're going to use this. And it's going to go pretty quick. Um, so I always like to know where my backer is, because this is, well, I thought I had, this is 12 inches wide, the transfer, so my fabric's about 14 um, by 18, so it's 12 by 18. So that's, you know, decent size piece. Um, and I do notice that there's a little bit of room down at the bottom that we're going to clap that, that wood onto, and then we're going to make a tie with some um, twine. And I think it's going to be beautiful. I have to tell you the truth. This project, honestly, made me come back to Chalk, chalk Couture. So I think we're as straight as we're going to be, and this is the first one I'm doing, so if it's not straight, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's just not going to be straight. <laughs> okay. All right, so I just want it to be soft. So let's see. So the ink is pretty thick. And you do have to push it through the screen a little bit, not nothing too bad, but it does stay, like with the paste, it dries very, very quickly. This does not, which may be why I'm a little more comfortable with it. I mean, although it is permanent, so you got to get a little gutsy to kind of go for it with your project. Um, this you can go over and over and over and over and over and you're you're okay You just cover up all that silk screen area And I did try to ink two in a row the other day and I would not recommend that you do that. I Would recommend that you wash it What is that? Care if that's a bubble or okay. Um, I don't recommend you do that, even when you're inking, because this is thinner than the chalk paste, but not by much. Yeah. So it's even past my bedtime and I'm on here doing this. But that's what we do at the holidays, right? Now, if you're a messy inker, you could tape out parts of your design. But if you just take your time, with ink you get a little bit more time. It's going to be okay. And as I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying using it as I'm getting back into the groove. Okay, so I don't see any cloth areas in, in the gray, where we want the gray. I think I did good down here. I'm just going to see that feels dry already. Okay. And now we're going to do this beautiful tree. And this is much thicker than the gray was. Which is why I say you got to push it in there a little bit. I'm just going to do the whole thing. And the cotton is going to soak it right up. So I got two yards of cotton fabric at Michael's with the 40% off coupon and the 20% off. I think it was marked something like 
maybe $10.99, and I think I paid $4 for it by the time I was done with my discounts. But you could buy muslin, you could buy whatever you want. Um, you can get a dish towel. I think that's what Debbie did. And she, it was just a, it has to be like a flower sack towel or like a linen towel. I'm going to have to invest in a a new green ink because this is feeling a little bit thick. I'm going to have to read up on putting distilled water in ink because maybe you can. Yeah, it's really fun. I mean, I'm messy. I mean, if you could see this, I'm a disaster. I've got everything going every which way when I'm working on a project. And I think I noticed I got to go back and I got to look real close because you kind of get one shot to do this. Like, see, there's a little bit. But you just push it in there. And it's fine. Okay, I'm going to stand up and I'm just going to kind of make sure I didn't miss anywhere. And I am going to put these guys out of my way I, my, my desk is covered in plastic this would be my luck so I'm going to cover these up before I peel this sucker okay so let's hold a breath this is going to be very sticky but it does come off the fabric kind of nice I'm glad I gave myself a little bit of an edge there hold it down oh my goodness I love it I love it okay so all I'm doing outside of the camera is I'm putting this on the backer how pretty is that so can you imagine? It looked like a hot mess, didn't it? Oh my goodness. I really love it. And when we get the ties on it, that's going to be gorgeous. That is going to be gorgeous. Okay, so I am going to pull it off so you can see. See on the mat? It goes right through the fabric. So you do have to heat the set this. Um, a lot of people have what is known as a Cricut Easy Press. I do not possess one of those. Um, I'm old school. You can use an iron and a piece of parchment paper, but I do not have that either. What I have is my old crafting heat tool. So if it'll melt embossing powder, It'll heat set this. I really like it. Noreen, this is what I'm thinking of making for your kids. For like Brittany. And uh, I've got a couple other ones too. But this is like the banner idea that I was trying to let you know about. And I have... I have some canvas boards to show you what I mean about how it's going to attach. Oh, see it's smeared a little, but I don't even think it matters. It did smear a little right down here. So you got to be careful, and that's because this folded over there, I guarantee you, but we're just going to ignore it. This is the first one we ever did. We're going to be happy. I'm going to wash the transfer.
but I want to make sure. And what I will do is, my mom has an iron downstairs. I will have her put the parchment over, and um, and so because I want to get that get get that out, that crease out. But the initial heat setting, I mean, you can see it'll go from kind of tacky to matte. So that's how you can tell. Dang it, that makes me upset. It's supposed to be rustic though. And then I have another one that I have to show you that I think would be really cute for Sean and Tony. It's the Santa face one. So we got a bunch of these. I might just have to go off camera to put it in the wash because I don't want to let that ink sit on it for too long. Okay, so we figured out what we did. And the wood that he's using is very weathered. It's old fence board, and it's that's why I went with gray, because it has a gray tinge to it. So I think it's going to be great. And then they can change it out. You know, I can, I can send them, you know, maybe one just for their home, and then they can take this down and roll it up and put it up next Christmas. Or That's what I like about it. It's interchangeable. That's really pretty. I really, really like that. Um, let me show you. So, can you see it? I think it's pretty. And I like the raw edge, and I like all of it. I am going to cut the, the stuff off the top and the bottom, just to make my life a little easier. fabric is it's a little more forgiving I think so I'm sorry I forget with this new technology I don't have to flip it for years when I was on YouTube you'd only see my desk and I'd have to turn the camera well now it does it all for me so I'm always so you're seeing what I'm seeing before I used to have to spin it around well, for a first attempt, I think that's pretty darn great. So, this is not the right size, but, and these are the, you can buy these from Chalk Couture with canvas in them. So, I'm just going to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And I'm just going to clamp this one on the bottom. But we're making our own. Yeah, like this is the top piece. So, you kind of get me now. Like that's the bottom. It'll hold it straight. And then we'll put some twine through that to hold it. And then they can just take it apart. Let's see how that looks across the top. I think ours is going to look better. Only because this is a darker, dark-ish wood. And which is fine, it goes with quite a bit, very farmhousey. Um, but ours is got the gray. I mean, yeah. So can you can you can you make that out? So you have one on the top and one on the bottom. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I really do. That's awesome. All right, let me show you. Because I have some other fabric. We're ready to go. And we'll put this one over to dry. So we also have this one. North Pole Bed and Breakfast. Come in from the cold. It has the reindeer at the top. I thought that one was cute. And then what also came. Hang on a second. I got all these ink mats and their covers. 
So I'm just going to keep them sticky as long as I can. Yeah. That's cool. That one didn't fit. Um, that's why I wound up using this one, which is good. And that's the packaging, which we need. Okay. So, in my kit, I bought this extra, but this is the Club Couture transfer for the month of November. So I've been using the heck out of this. So I got another one. I was so excited. But the one I was thinking of was this guy. Santa approved. But I don't think it needs to be quite as big. And then I got stay cozy. All is calm. All is bright. Um and some join my team ones and then these were I had these last year these were the minis and I did a bunch of mugs with them last year that was really fun so yeah so Santa approved I thought would be really cool for Sean and Tony because they have the baby so we just got to get a smaller piece of fabric and who knows, maybe I'll send them too. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be too big. But what's cool about it is I can just I can make it any size I want. Really. This is all I did. And I was scared when I first did it because I was like, oh, what if it doesn't come out? If it doesn't come out, you cut it again. I guess. I mean, it's not an exact science, you know what I mean? Okay. So now we've got a little bit bigger than 8.5 by 11. This is 8.5 by 11, I'm sure. This is a B size transfer where the other ones are C size transfers. So they're 12 by 18. Okay, so now you can see the whole process because I got all the colors to do him. So got my ink mat back. This is the hardest part, honestly. This is the hardest part is getting this fabric down with no threads hanging to stick on this mat because like yeah I got one here that's what took me the longest okay and we want to get it as straight as we can and the dang thing sticks to you And then just smoothing it out, just taking your time. Because how it adheres to this mat is going to go a long way in your finished project. And what I like about doing our own wooden magnets is we can do it any size we want. So just like, you know, you want your surface, which in this case is fabric, to be as smooth as possible on there. And it doesn't take long. You just gotta, gotta bear with it. Okay, Santa approved. So we're gonna need some red and some green for the poly and some black. I've seen it done in. I've seen his face and features done in black because it's on a white surface. And I've seen the hat done in red. And 
we're going to try and get in there and get some green and some red. Because this fur will be white, because we're not going to ink that. And then we can do the words, Santa and approved in black. So yeah, I'm gonna need that little tool. Here we go. I love that tree. I love trees. Yeah, Keith is doing the wood and the magnets for me in his wood shop. Also known as our garage. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's not put this in the ink. All right, so this is Santa approved. And you can see it's pretty sticky, which is great. Makes your life easier. And then we just want to make sure it's as down as, it, as it's going to be. You know what? I'm not doing myself any favors. i got to shift that over. I had a cutting mat under there. You know what? Let's take that out. Try and push this up a little bit. There we go. Now we're entirely on the desk. Okay, and what do I see? First off, bubble in the fabric. All right, so you want to leave yourself a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom, and side to side. No fabric is perfect, especially when you do it the, the way I did it. Okay, so let's do our berries first because we've got a bunch of them. So this is um, called the multi-purpose tool. Sorry. And um, it's great for little spaces. And it's kind of, I don't know that it is Teflon, but it feels like it. It's got, you know, feels like a rubber so I'm gonna go easy first because I only want to get these berries I might have to put a little more than that but ink is very spreadable and when you have a brazen color like this you know there's no going back with it with the chalk paste you can erase the board and start over this, we're throwing it out. But, you know, I don't mind living dangerously. It's okay. into the daggum thing. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to talk when I'm doing these little intricate areas. All right, let's come over here. Grab these guys. And what I love is if you get this all prepped, like you get your fabric ready, you can do several projects in a night. So we're going to do his hat in red. That must be the pom-pom. So this looks like the hat to me. I 
I don't know what that is. Part of his, his beard goes this way. I'm just trying to decide if I ought to do it red that far down. Hmm. I'm uncertain. Let me check something real quick. I got a catalog here. Or I did have, yeah. Let's see a quick picture of this to judge how far down it goes. Come on now. Why is it whenever you need something? Where the heck? Where the heck? I just went through Christmas. Well, thank goodness I'm working in ink. Pumpkins. Now, wait a minute. I was probably looking in the wrong area. I just want to see how far down it comes. Dang yeah, it, I know what's in here. I know it's in here. Santa's workshop. I think it should be red. I'm probably going to go with my gut, but I don't know. I don't want it to look silly after I'm done. So you'd think it would be right in here. And knowing me, I'm probably staring right at it. Seems like everything else is in here. Oh, and if you bared with me and you were watching me the other night and I was struggling with the banner, I figured out what I did wrong. I didn't wax the surface. And they didn't tell you to in the instructions, but I guarantee you if I wax the surface, it's going to be better. And I also figured out that there's two sides to every single pennant, so it's not completely ruined. All right, executive decision. I think that's his collar. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. So we're just gonna avoid the holly and try and get in here with the red. I really, really love making things for Christmas. I mean, and this year, especially this year, it's just been kind of a whirlwind for the entire world, hasn't it? So it's nice to have something handmade. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I think I'm going to take it.
I think I'm just going to split the difference. I'm going to see about going that far. Now with paste, you couldn't leave this open this, this long. You would be regretful. Okay. So next we're going to go back to our green and we're going to try and hit those holly leaves. And then we're going to do the rest in black. And I'm just going to keep using this detail tool because it's nice, well it's not a detail tool, this multi-purpose tool, because it's really nice to get in these little tight areas. But we have tiny little squeegees too. But this is working for me, so I'm not going to complain. And then you just take the excess and you put it right back in the jar. And I'm going to get this one. Carefully. gonna be a tight space but we're gonna make it work best we can so you all done making everything Noreen how's your hand feeling I know you're been crocheting up a storm okay And I'm going to get another squeegee, a small squeegee for the black. All right. Yeah, this black is like the green must be getting older or something. Because this black is so thin and that's how it should be with the ink. The red and the um, and the green is a little bit thicker. Maybe different formulation. Just something to get used to. All right. Here we go. I'll give my face. This one was hard to see. Honestly, it was. That's why I wanted to see an image of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I think that's all the black. I did see a tiny piece of red that I missed before we pull it up. Right over there. And right here. Other than that, again, first time. Because that ink is so thin with the black, you can 
go back over it. And all right. Okay, you ready? Cover up the black. And I know you're gonna be like, it's what? You gave him a black face? You'll see. <coughs> All right, where's my backer? Here's my backer. And these are our inked up squeegees. I'll put them out the way. All right. Peel and reveal. Try to put your hands in it. <laughs> Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Cover of my ink mat. Now I got I got crap all over my hands. Before you touch it, you might get that off, and then I'll put it better in the camera so you can see it. Pretty nice, huh? I like the detail on the face, very old timey. This probably could have been black. I know for next time. That's what I was trying to figure out. Is this black? So the hat goes to here and then this should be black coming around. But it's not a bad first attempt, you know? Not at all. And then after you, I did get something on it up here. Let's just test it, because that'll be under the wood. You can get it off with a Lysol wipe, but you gotta do it before you set it. Okay, so. We're going to heat set this. This one's a little bit smaller. Clean hands, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to set this down. Okay. Get our little heat tool. I think this is cute. I would change that. I would change the pom pom. I would make that surrounded in black. But, you know, for next time. Lettering's really crisp. I didn't do half a bad job with the holly. I'm surprised. And you know what we're going to do with this one? We could finish this one if we wanted to. I'll show you how, what I mean. Because I have some dowels. And I think these are the right length. Yep, they'll work out fine. So I'm gonna unplug the sewing machine and I'll plug in my glue gun. And this one will be more of a banner style, but you could do the top and the bottom. I just don't want to drive Keith crazy with cutting 9,001. So since we could improve upon this one, and we know that we will, we'll do that in black next time I do the transfer. Um, we'll just make up something out of this. Yeah, yeah that looks fine, but... How about you know me? 
I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I want it to be perfect. Let's turn on the glue gun here. Come here. There's a light. There it is. Okay. This is probably dry 10,000 times over. Okay. And that is it. So I got these at Hobby Lobby. You can get a pack of 10 pieces of dowels. This is 12 inches long by 0.312 two of an inch for $2.99 so that's what 30 cents each um, this could be a real inexpensive project so what you can do is is we can just take this and if we can get it where we want it to be we can just fold that over and hot glue it. But I have a trick. So my trick is, this is double stick tape from my Stampin' Days. And I find it's really handy when you wanna get something attached exactly. Just kind of pull it till you get it. And this will help you place the dowel. I mean, at this the way, this is going. I've got two projects practically done in an, in an hour. You know, you spend a couple hours crafting on a on a weekend day, you could knock out many of these. What you're waiting for is the dry time. All right, come here. Let's use our paper piercer. Try and lift that tape. I think it's raining again. I feel like we're going to drown. Okay, we got the edge. So then you just peel the tape and then you can center this where you want it. And it makes rolling it over. I mean, you could put another piece of tape on the dowel if you wanted to. The whole reason you have a dowel on the bottom is to weight it down. You don't even really need it on the bottom. I've seen people put clothespins and such. tape is giving me a hard way to go. Getting the backer off. There it goes. Once you get it, it comes off pretty quick. Alright. So I'm just eyeballing. So we're going to stick it into that tape. And then what you could do is you could take another piece of tape Put it on the dowel itself, because like the like I said, this is only cotton fabric. I mean, it's nothing crazy time. And then you peel that, and you're just gonna roll it over. I 
And you could finish it with some glue, but you don't need to. This might be fine. Yeah. All you're looking to do is stick it around that dowel to give it something to hang on. So, I'm going to do it again at the bottom. Because I had one heck, heck of a burn from that glue gun. So I prefer not to use it if that's a choice. Come on now. So that's what I'm thinking about doing the rooster for Sue. But it would be a bigger piece. And I like that it has a raw edge. Okay. So there's our little banner. And it's too long on one side. I can see it already. So thank goodness it's fabric. So what you can do is you can peel it back. And re-stick it. Guess I wasn't all that careful, but that would bother the heck out of me. When things aren't straight, I don't like it. That's the card maker in me, I guess. Although I can crochet crooked all day long. <laughs> all right, I think that might be a little bit better. Yeah, I could probably trim that. Or actually, do we need it at the bottom? Maybe not. I don't think we need it at the bottom. Then what we're gonna do, is I've got some twine here. What do you think? I tell you what, I absolutely love making stuff out of nothing, really. So, we've got our hanger, and if we wanted it to be more of a hanger, you could, if you're real good, um, I actually have a bead that I could slide on there. You love it. Okay, cool. I should have strung this before I did this. Yeah, it needed something.
So I just tucked a little bead on there, try and stabilize it so it will hang up a little bit straighter. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Just a little wooden bead. And you can go nuts. I have pom-pom trim you could put on it across the top, but I kind of like it looking a little, what's that, primitive style? Farmhouse. Farmhouse is now being referred to as, but that's primitive to me. I have bells. You know, you could hang a couple bells off of here. But I mean, how quick and simple is that? That's definitely, I mean, if you're not counting, if you wanted to make a bunch of these, say, and you wanted to pick one transfer, um, I believe this size transfer, don't quote me, is um, about $10. You can use it 10 to 12 times. I've seen many people get much, much more out of them. And um, so that's that one. And I'm going to bring our tree farm in because I absolutely adore it. Not perfect. Got some smudges down here, but that's okay. I'll keep this one and I'll make another one. So thanks for joining me. Appreciate it very much. I kept good on my word. I'm trying to learn this software. Um, Let's see if I can talk to you. Uh, I'm trying very hard to learn this this new software, and um, I'm, it's getting easier every time I do it. And I'm trying to be able to fit this into my work week schedule. Um, and I didn't finish dinner tonight until almost eight o'clock. So I'm trying to find a good time that I might be able to to go live on a consistent basis, and maybe it's nine o'clock. Um, so stay tuned for more. Um, if you have any questions or would like to share this with your friends, please do so. Um, I'm sure I'll be back later this week with some more. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm going to go wash those transfers real quick before, um, I clean up for the night. So see you real soon. Bye now.